Welcome to part two of the ERIES G-Series control videos. This setup video will demonstrate the wiring and basic operation of a G-Series control. For a complete overview, be sure to check out the G-Series control part one features video. This video will be broken down into four areas, connecting, changing parameters, remote operation, and regulation mode. To begin, this unit can be connected to an input supply of 115 or 230 volts AC at 50 or 60 hertz single phase power. It will automatically sense 115 or 230 volts. However, the line voltage must match the voltage of the feeder it controls. Damage to the feeder and or control will occur if the voltage is not correct. Be sure to check the feeder nameplate. The maximum output is 12 amps. Removing four screws on the cover of the unit allows access to the wiring terminals. Power terminals are on the right, signal terminals are on the left. For now, we'll just look at the power terminals. Input power, whether 115 or 230 volts, is connected to terminals 26 and 27. The output to the feeder is connected to terminals 24 and 25. The equipment or chassis grounds are connected to terminals 28, 29, and 51 through 55. Refer to the schematic at the end of the operations manual. Tinning the conductors or a ferrule will make inserting the wires easier. Now we can reattach the cover. Located on the front of the control is the main power on-off switch that illuminates when on. To the left are the line fuses F1 and F2. They are 10 amp, 250 volt, slow blow, 5 by 22 millimeter fuses. Above is a five digit LED display and keypad used for operating and setting up the unit. The I and O buttons are used to turn the feeder on and off. The P button is parameter select. It is used to select a parameter to view accept a change or skip to the next parameter. The arrow buttons are used to increase or decrease the value of the parameter. The F button is used to return to the previous position in the menu. Next, let's look at how to change parameters if necessary. Pressing the P button takes us to the parameter code group. Use the up arrow to increase code to 096 and press P to access the feeder settings. The first parameter, A.100.0, is the feeder amplitude as a percentage from 0 to 100%. Use the arrow buttons to adjust the amplitude to the desired level. Press P to move to the next parameter. The next parameter, P, is the output power. Its value will range from 0 to 100. This setting sets the maximum allowable output power available in percentage with parameter A, then adjusting 0 to 100% of this range. For example, if P equals 50 and A equals 100, the output will be 50%. Next is F, the output frequency. This value must remain at the frequency of the feeder, in this case, 30 Hz. Changing this value may void the warranty. The next parameters are soft start and soft stop values in seconds. This lets the feeder ramp up from off to full speed and ramp to a stop. Code 000 lets us change the amplitude even while the feeder is running. Press P to code 008, then press P up or down to adjust the amplitude. Press P to return to running mode. If it is necessary to return the parameter values to the factory settings, press P, go to code 210, press P, FAC is displayed. Press P, US10, this is where the ERIES factory settings are stored. Press P, USPR, up arrow, safe will flash, then press P. We're back to factory settings. Should a fault occur, consult the operations manual to determine the cause and correct it. To reset the fault, press P, 
go to C009, press P, then up arrow. The fault is reset. In this section, we will demonstrate the remote operation of an ERIES G-Series feeder control. Refer to the schematic at the end of the operations manual. I have removed the jumper between terminals 5 and 6 and replaced it with the switch contact. I also added a 10,000 ohm potentiometer at terminals 7, 8, and 9. This will allow us to adjust the amplitude from a remote location. After powering up, we can go to parameter code 003 and select the set point source. We need to make the following changes. Change ESP, the external set point, to 1. Leave 4 to 20 at 0. Change POT to 1 for potentiometer and press P until we are at the running mode. Go to code 000 and set the amplitude A to 0, 0.00 and the P until we are at the running mode again. The display will read stop. Press the green I button. The display will read off. Now the feeder can be started and stopped and the amplitude adjusted from a remote location. The bias, or minimum feeder displacement level, can be raised by increasing the amplitude A in code 000. Now when the feeder is started, this will be the minimum displacement. Next, we will control the amplitude with a 4 to 20 milliamp current source, similar to a PLC output. I have left the remote start-stop switch in place. I have connected a 4 to 20 milliamp current source in parallel with a 500 ohm resistor to terminals 7 and 8. Now go to parameter 003 and select the set point source. We need to make the following changes. Change ESP, the external set point, to 1. Change 4 to 20 to 1. Leave POT at 0. Go to code 000 and set the amplitude A to 0.00. .00. Press the green I button and the display will read off. Now the feeder can be started remotely and controlled by the 4 to 20 milliamp source. The bias, or minimum feeder displacement level, can be raised by increasing the amplitude A in code 000. Now, when the feeder is started, this will be the minimum displacement. Next, we will demonstrate the regulation mode. In regulation mode, a displacement sensor, called an accelerometer, is mounted on the feeder. The control uses the output of the accelerometer to keep the flow of material on the feeder tray at a consistent level. If the flow is too high, the feeder will decrease the amplitude slightly. Too little flow, and the control will increase the amplitude. After mounting the sensor, plug the cable into the proper port. Refer to the schematic at the back of the instruction manual. Let's power up and go to parameter 008 and make the following changes. Set the amplitude A to 50. Set the power P to 50. Set ACC to 1, enabling the accelerometer. Leave PA at 40 and IA at 100. Press P until you are at running mode again. Next, start the feeder in code 008. Adjust the power P until you reach the maximum displacement per the feeder nameplate. Then, adjust the amplitude A until you get the desired rate of material flow on the feeder. Now the control will regulate the flow automatically. We hope this control setup video was helpful. Don't forget, if you'd like to learn more about the G-Series control, be sure to watch our G-Series Control Part 1 Features video. If you'd like to learn more about Erie's vibratory equipment, visit our website at www.eries.com or give us a call at 800-345-4946. Thanks for watching.